Hi dear friends, welcome to the CSS Learners Academy. In the previous lecture, we have talked about the importance of deen in human life. It is the third topic of Islamic studies that we are going to study today. This is 1.3, meaning that the first topic and the third subtopic of the first topic, which says that the difference between deen and religion. Um, this question was precisely asked in the same manner uh, one time in the past papers, but it doesn't mean that it cannot be asked again. It can be asked, but not in the same way. I mean, the examiner is not going to ask directly what is the difference between Deen and religion, but it can come up in a way as to know what are your concepts about the topic. In the CSS uh, papers, the most important thing that you should keep in your mind is that the topic should be prepared in a way that it is. Now examiner can ask question in any way that he likes and you should be able to answer. Some people, uh, I mean most of the aspirants who contact me and they ask whether we should uh, study the past papers and we should uh, carry uh, out our uh, studies in accordance with the past papers and I say that no it is not important. Why? because the past papers the questions that have been asked earlier they are not going to be asked again so what should be your focus is that the topic should be prepared um, completely prepared and the notes should be prepared now you can only uh, see the past papers just to know uh, how a question is asked what type of questions are generally asked and how you are going to answer those questions so today we will study this topic just to have a clear know-how about the difference between deen and religion. Well, I would like to say that when we talk about religions, religions is only a set of beliefs which is related to the private life of an individual. There are certain definitions of religion which you can find uh, in uh, you know certain uh, books or uh, different type of literature but precisely the outcome of all those or the conclusion of all those definitions is that religion is a separate entity which is related to the individual life everyone has a certain beliefs about certain things i mean uh, we can say that a certain thing is truth uh, for someone but it can be a lie for some uh, someone else uh, someone would say that uh, definition of justice is different from the other one so everyone has his own definition because of his own beliefs that is his religion second important thing uh, about religion is the rituals the specific rituals are performed by different people in different ethnic groups all around the world we see different uh, religions that uh, man-made religions and the other uh, provided by Allah Almighty uh, with different names people perform rituals all over the world for separate things so these rituals are related to uh, their own uh, conduct personally individually so that is something related to the religion and third important aspect of religion is spirituality spirituality obviously is related to one's own self and because of spirituality we have seen that uh, several religions have been based on spirituality like Buddhism, like Jainism and some others. And then we see that there are the religions uh, which were revealed uh, to the prophets by Allah Almighty. That is Judaism and Christianity. And the third one is Islam which is not a religion, it is a deen. But where is the difference? Where is the difference lies between deen and religion? So I have talked about religion in the previous arguments and now the definition of deen. Deen most simply or most precisely we can say that deen is a complete code of life and religion is one of the entities of deen. It is true that the deen talks about spirituality, it talks about the individual conduct, it talks about uh, all the things that are uh, you know mentioned in religion but why because religion is one of the aspects of deen it talks about so many other things that are not included in any religion if we study the holy quran the quran talks about knowledge it it, it, it talks about uh, philosophy and science it talks about geography and astronomy 
and then other than that knowledge it also talks about spirituality it also talks about the individual conduct and the conduct of the society and it talks about the economic system the social system the culture values and norms and then it also talks about the whole of humanity when we say uh, when we see in the holy quran as it says kul auzu bi rabbin nas it is talking about all of the people all the humanity now some of uh, the scholars have also defined religion in the same way as we are defining deen in the famous book philosophy of religion keith e jendel says a religion is a conceptual system that provides an interpretation of the world and the place of human beings in it bases an account of how life should be lived given that interpretation and expresses this interpretation and lifestyle in a set of rituals institutions and practices so here we say that what i was talking about deen uh, he has described all those features which are included in another definition a famous novel by thomas mas with the name of joseph and his brothers a definition by durkheim has been presented that religion is a system of beliefs and practices relative to the sacred that unite those who adhere to them in the moral community so here you will see that the second definition can be included in the topic of religion while the first one can be included in the definition of deen so that is the basic difference between deen and religion but we also need to understand why there is uh, a need to separate these two i mean why to uh, separate deen with religion it is basically with the emergence of the concept of secularism what is secularism secularism says that uh, uh, religion is uh, the private conduct of an individual and it should be separated from the statehood it emerged in the time of uh, enlightenment of europe when they felt that the christianity as the original shape of christianity and judaism has been changed dramatically unfortunately uh, therefore those uh, religions are not now possible to be implemented uh, because they are not in their correct or the actual position when they were revealed so the changes that have been made by the human beings made those religions difficult to act upon and therefore a separate concept of secularism emerged in europe the, this concept uh, had no place for religion in the human society therefore but we cannot say that secular uh, secularism itself is wrong there is a concept of islamic secularism as well as we see dr michael hart is compelled to confess that my choice of muhammad to lead the list of the world's most influential persons may surprise some readers and may be questioned by others but he was the only man in history who was supremely successful on both the religious and the secular level so this statement will define how deen and religion are separated secularism is a part of deen but it is not a part of religion because it is the exact opposite of that when we talk about the islamic secularism it means that the authority rests with allah almighty everyone is free to do what they like but there is a code of conduct that had had been provided that have been provided by the allah almighty because you cannot um, analyze it for yourself what is good for you and what is not why is that because of our level of intellectualism our intellectualism is so minor that is necessary to live in this world but allah almighty who has created this universe and several other bodies that now we find today and he has created our minds as well he know obviously well so therefore he has maintained some limitations that if you do this sort of thing it will be wrong and if you do this it will be right for you it is just an example between a father and a child if a, a, a father and a child are there on a swim, swimming pool and the child is sitting and he sees that his father is just uh, go there diving into the water and he wants to do the same the father will stop him why because it is not something against the freedom of expression of that child it is because the child don't know how to swim 
the father will first teach him how to swim and then he will allow him uh, to take a dive like the father did the same example can be implemented between uh, the authority of allah almighty and the mankind so he has the one who should provide the limitations that what should we do uh, and what is harmful for us which we don't see now but it can be harmful in the future so that is the concept of islamic uh, secularism a muslim is free to do as he likes but with the will of allah almighty because he knows and we don't the next topic is that how we can say that islam is a deen and uh, other religions are not first and foremost thing is that it has been mentioned in the holy quran uh, several times like we know in allah almighty says that iza ja anasullah wal fath wa ra'ayta an-nasa yadkhuluna fi deen allah afwaja you will see that people are entering or people are accepting the deen of allah almighty and then where allah almighty says that he has accepted islam as a deen for him a life and then another uh, verse of holy quran says that there is no deen in the eyes of allah almighty but islam so here we will discuss uh, nine different definitions of how islam can be uh, said as a deen number 1 islam talks about the private matters which means the rituals spirituality including uh, namaz roza hajj zakat all these because namaz or salat or it is known as prayer but namaz and salat are the words that should be used in paper even so these uh, namaz and salat namaz salat it is basically a ritual which connects uh, a person to allah almighty directly it is a way of talking to allah almighty of telling uh, whatever is in our in our hearts and in our minds as mola ali has stated whenever i want to talk to allah almighty i say i offer prayers and whenever i want that he respond to my talking i open the holy quran so namaz is the way and then other thing is about roza or som roza is a kind of practice which we will study in the next topic but it is basically uh, regarded to the self purification and then we have hajj hajj is uh, performed annually uh, at uh, khana kaaba makkah mukarrama uh, where all the muslims all around the world who have, who can afford to go to the, uh, the pilgrimage they uh, gather there to perform the hajj so all of these things are related to the private matters of an individual you can say that they are the part of religion number second is knowledge and wisdom for all prophet muhammad peace be upon him when he very famously stated that you should seek knowledge from cradle to grave there is no limitation there is no excuse for anybody in islam it is compulsory to seek knowledge from wherever you can the third important thing is the topics that has been dis- that have been discussed in the holy quran and it has been stated again and again that why should why uh, uh, why you don't study the holy quran and why, why don't you delve into the studies and try to know the realities of the universe it talks about science it talks about mathematics philosophy uh, geography astronomy and all in the coming lectures i will be giving the references um, in the specific topics inshallah and the fourth thing is about war and peace this is the deen which do not say that if someone is uh, you know uh, inflicting uh, cruelty or brutality you should stop and you should say that no no it is uh, against peace and we should stop we should remain silent no the holy quran says that if someone is doing wrong you must stop them and you must use force to stop them because the important thing is that wrong should be stopped it may happen that for the time being you sacrifice for peace and then in some other way that wrong becomes the normal uh, normal norm that brutality became the norm so how you are going to stop it so the important thing is to stop uh, the wrong doings at the first step that is what is the concept of islam the fifth important thing is regarding the social life islam has uh, mentioned the rights and obligations of an individual towards a society as well as there are 
from society towards individual there are rights and obligations from an individual towards the society there are rights and obligations for uh, your relatives um for your neighbors especially and for the people um, who are like uh, travelers and they are traveling around and then the people who are needy so this is the social conduct this is the social life that a man should live and it is what makes it different from other religions the seven, the sixth important thing is the economic system of islam islam has very uh, descriptively provided a complete economic system with the name of zakat we will also study zakat in another topic seventh important aspect is community building community building is related to the justice and equality for all how you uh, think about the other people how justice and equality could prevail in a society the eighth important thing is that it is the only deen which talks about all of humanity when we study the religions or even the prophets the prophets of the other religions are talking about their own religions they are talking about their own people they are sent to a specific uh, community but this is not the case in islam islam is for all of humanity and the ninth thing is regarding laws and legislations islam has provided the base that how the laws uh, should be based upon but it doesn't say that uh, you should implement the same laws as they were 1400 years ago there is a concept of rationality there is a concept of ijtihad which is even the topic of our syllabus so we will discuss this topic and this system of ijtihad is basically uh, you can say the backbone of uh, the rationality in islam because islam is the only religion which talks about how the society is evolving and how religion should evolve in accordance with the society some bases are there they are provided by the holy quran already but uh, based upon those concepts you have to uh, you know define the islamic values with respect to the modernism that we are facing today so this was our lecture for today and in the next topic inshallah we will be covering the topic number 1.4 and 1.5 after which the first topic of islamic studies will be covered if you have any questions you uh, feel free to contact me in uh, these uh, social media accounts that uh, i have created for your help and you can contact me anytime on my number and uh, lastly i would say that if you have not subscribed to the channel you must subscribe and press the bell icon because um, uh, now i am going to um, uh, complete the lectures on a faster pace because much of the time has been lost due to some domestic issues uh, unfortunately but now i will be uploading the lectures with uh, the regular routine uh, and uh, that's why if you click on the bell icon you will receive the notification as soon as uh, the lecture is uploaded thank you very much stay blessed